What medication can be used to increase your testosterone without the need for injections or daily use of a gel? Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about a drug that can be used to replace testosterone replacement and that doesn't require injections or the daily application of a gel. And before you continue watching this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel activate the notifications and especially don't forget to share this video with their friends colleagues and acquaintances so that this useful information reaches as many people as possible men need to know that some of the problems they experience such as lack of sleep mood swings weakness changes in libido and erectile dysfunction can be caused by a simple lack of the male hormone testosterone. In this situation, it's important to know that when these men have a compatible symptomatology, as in all these symptoms I've mentioned that can be caused by a lack of this hormone accompanied by a low dosage of testosterone, generally levels below 235 nanograms per ml, this man needs to have this hormone replaced, especially if he is a little older, from middle age onwards. Because we know that the decline in testosterone starts in the fourth or fifth decade of life, and this intensifies over time, and some men suffer more than others. And once these criteria of compatible symptoms have been met, along with the low levels measured in two different laboratory tests, Testosterone replacement is indicated and this testosterone is usually replaced through injections or can also be applied or subdermal implants which are very attractive alternatives for hormone replacement. However, when this replacement is done through injections as well as being a treatment that is sometimes a little expensive, this treatment usually causes testosterone spikes and it is usually these testosterone spikes that cause some side effects, such as an increase in hematocrit, an increase in the amount of red blood cells in your blood, which can lead to embolism, the formation of thrombi inside the blood vessels, an increase in the volume of the prostate, and if used at very high levels, it can even damage your lipid profile with an increase in cholesterol and triglycerides. Now if you do it properly with medical supervision, this type of replacement is quite suitable and safe. However, we have a problem at this point because we know that testosterone replacement is contraindicated in men who still want to have children and generally it is this profile of younger man who comes to you and who sometimes has a low dosage of testosterone and would like to increase this testosterone but when you ask him if he wants to have children he expresses this desire which contraindicates this replacement through these injections and this gas that's where it comes in we have to try to find an alternative for this man how we can try to improve this testosterone dosage without the need for these injections this external replacement of this hormone and at this point we need to guide this man to see if there isn't some other factor behind it that could be contributing to this decrease in hormone such as lack of sleep excess weight increased abdominal circumference belly fat a sedentary lifestyle among others when we correct this and the man still wants to increase his testosterone levels, we have an ally at our side, which is a drug, a little known medication that has very positive results in increasing this testosterone. This drug has few side effects, is relatively inexpensive and is very easy to administer because the patient uses it. By mouth, he takes this medicine and this medicine is what we call our famous clomiphene Clomid, Indux, the best known trade names. How does this medicine work? This drug is called a selective estrogen and androgen receptor modulator. So when you use this medicine, these selective estrogen and androgen receptor modulators, 
they bind to a part of your body called the hypothalamus and occupy these receptors. When your body sees this, it thinks that since these receptors are already occupied, there is already an insufficient amount of testosterone circulating in your body. It then causes the hypothalamus to secrete more GnRH, which is the hormone that will make it. Your pituitary gland produces ULH and FSH, which are gonadotropins, that stimulate both testosterone production by the Leydig cells in the testicle and sperm production by the feminiferous tubules in the testicle. So when you use this clomiphene on a daily basis, you can increase sperm production and you can also increase your testosterone production. And with this drug, you can sometimes achieve very good testosterone levels by using it daily. It is often observed that the larger a man's testicles are and the younger he is, it seems that testosterone levels tend to increase even more in this situation. And why is this such an attractive alternative? Because this clomiphene, by increasing LH and FSH, it doesn't alter your fertility, it maintains that level of fertility in that man. And sperm production sometimes doesn't even decrease, it even increases in this case. And since it's a drug that has very few side effects, it's a safe alternative to consider in these situations. And another thing we should always consider is that as soon as the patient stops taking these drugs, they will experience a somewhat significant drop in testosterone levels, but the body will still continue to produce this testosterone. And that's something that doesn't happen when you inject or use testosterone gel on a daily basis as soon as you stop taking these drugs. By doing these injections or this gel, your body is unaccustomed to producing testosterone and your testosterone levels go down and the patient ends up feeling very bad about it. That's why the use of clomiphene is an attractive alternative for those men who have low testosterone levels who would still like to have children in the future and this should be considered, it should be an alternative that urologists should know about in their therapeutic arsenal. And there are also men who are often older who have side effects related to the use of testosterone. For example, pressure has risen too much, sometimes the prostate has grown in size and this alternative of using clomiphene can also be attractive in this case because clomiphene doesn't usually give testosterone peaks and it is precisely these peaks that alter both the volume of the prostate and cause the blood to end up thickening and so it is also an alternative that can be used not only in men who still want to have children but men who are still doing testosterone replacement it is a cheaper treatment and it is a treatment that some scientific studies show has a result very similar to this testosterone replacement that is done through injections and through the gel administered daily I would like to thank you all, subscribe to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share this video, give it a like. If this information is relevant to you, leave your questions, criticisms, comments, suggestions, a big hug, stay with God, and until our next video.